right, Sandy Kay. The directions say, can you find two orange bugs, two purple bugs, and two yellow bugs? Now, match the bugs to the correct boxes. All right, you ready? Ooh. So grab your bugs. See if you can get them in the right place. All right, Sandy Kay, let's start with the orange box. You, you're just scooted up far enough. You're okay. All right. No, your chair's plenty scooting in. All right, Sandy Kay, can you find that orange bug and put in the orange box? Sandy Kay, look down, please. Look down, please. Grab a, grab your bug and put in the correct box. You're gonna start with the purple one. No, nope, don't put it to your face. Put in the correct box. What color you can get next? Yellow. Mm -mm. Don't put it to your face. Put in the correct box. What's next? You can go with another purple one. I think that's a spider. Can, oh, can you put in the purple box, please? No, don't put it to your face. That is a compulsion. She wants to put everything to her face. Good job. Now, what other bug are you going to get? Another yellow one. Dragonfly. Good job. Now, I think all that's left are the two orange bugs. Nope, doesn't go there. Where do the orange bu bugs go? Nope, not in the yellow box. Nope, put it to your mouth. I think the orange, nope, we don't put orange and yellow. The yellow one's already there. I think the orange bugs need to go in the orange boxes. Mm. Uh-huh. Do your last one. It looks like it's a grasshopper. Where does it go? Good job. Excellent. Okay. Put your crayons down. We use rock crayons. Um, that's because that is what her OT suggested. All right, so now sit up, don't put to your mouth, please. If you would go ahead and color your shark, what color are you gonna color her? It looks like orange. That's good, Sandy K. Now what color are you gonna get? All right, I'm gonna choose one. Choose one color. And you wanna color her bow? Look right here, Sandy K. Since you've already done orange, I'm gonna put orange down, and you, and you can, no, mm -mm, don't put it to your mouth. That is behavior we're working on, redirecting. Go ahead and cut. Ooh, good job! You're looking at your shark. Up, oh, look down at it. You gotta look. Look while you color. Excellent. So that's one thing that we've been working on is really. Um, not getting so obsessed with actually holding the um, crayons because that's part of her compulsion. Not putting things to your mouth, looking at what you're doing. These are all skills that we have been working on for months now. In our homeschooling, we also do some things that um, our OT suggested. Sandy Kay, can you put your beads down, please? Put your beads down and let's count them first. Ready? Take your counting finger. We we'll use that as a counting finger. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six beads. Now, Sandy Kay, here is your um, pipe. If you would please thread the beads. Good job. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's leave, uh-uh, we're gonna leave those there. All right, now, go to number two. Good job. And we will continue to do all six of these during this activity. I 
do have some smaller beads, but there was more struggle with the smaller ones, so I went up just a little bit. So we've been working on choosing your own marker, that's right, and opening it. Can you open it, Sandy Kay? Which color do you want? You want the little yellow? All right, open it. And when you open it, we are going to draw a line. Ready? So put your top in, flip that over. Not sure if she's left-handed or right-handed yet. Go ahead and go straight down. Good job. You want to do another yellow? Start at the top and go straight down. Good job. Put your top on your marker. Gotta turn the cap the other way. Good job. Now can you click it shut? There you go. Choose you another color. Let's choose a darker color, something easier to see. Red, perfect. Can we do a circle this time? All right, ready to do a circle? Oops, ready? So we're gonna start here and go around. Good job, excellent. That's taken us several months to learn and still needs a little bit of um, assistance. Okay, I have two puzzles. I have the bear puzzle and I have the crab puzzle. Which one would you like to choose? Would you like the bear or the crab? Choose one. Sandy Kay likes to twirl her hair when she doesn't want to do something. Okay. Pick one, please. you like. I'm going to do the bear one. Okay. We'll do the bear puzzle. Let's open it and let's take out the, there you go. And here are the pieces. Let's turn them the right way so we can see. All right. So the head goes up here, the feet go down there. All right. What would you like to choose first? That's the arms. Can you put the arms across here? Sandy Kay, look down, please. Nope, no, not to your mouth. So we're working on not putting things to your mouth and actually looking at what you're doing. All right, good job. Where did the little feet go? Nope, not to your mouth. Put it on the puzzle. That's the head. I think the head goes up there. The feet go down there, good job. Excellent. Choose another piece. That's the other foot. I don't think the foot goes on the head. That's the head. Uh-huh, the foot goes there. You can put it down, put it down. Excellent, now the last is the head at the top, just like your head is at the top of your body. So put the bear's head. Good job, give me five, excellent.